Hey everybody, it's Christine. I'm here to do my weekly wrap up really quickly while everybody's out of the house. Um, I ended up finishing The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. Wonderful, wonderful book. Um, World War II girl steals a gravedigger's handbook while her brother is being buried as her, her mother um, gives her them up for uh, foster care. And on their way to foster care, the son, the brother dies, so they're burying him and she steals a book. And the foster father teaches her how to read with that book. But it's so much more than that. Um, I don't know if I give it a four, but a, a five. It's definitely one I might want to reread somewhere down the line. Um, yeah, very poignant book. Loved it. And then I finished Threaded for Trouble, book two in the Threadville Mystery Books by Janet Bolin. Um, this one is really good. I, I gave it a four. Um, a couple of grammar and spelling mistakes that just throw me off every time. But this one is, um, there is a, I guess, national competition for this machine embroidery machine. And they use her store because it's the closest to the winner to make a presentation and give it away. And the woman gets the machine, brings it home, and is killed by it. That's all I'm going to say. I gave it a four. I liked it. I'm continuing on with the series, definitely. And then I read Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Roderick Rules, book two um, by Jeff Kitty. And this one, like, I watch, I've seen the movie several times because my kids love them. And I'm just really surprised at how mean Greg is to his friends. Um, but it doesn't help that his brother Roderick beats up on him and he tries to beat up on his little brother Manny and it just doesn't work. And I like the movie better, I have to say. Um, I really did like the movie better. But so I gave this one a three just because I. For a kid's book, it's really showing how kids can be so cruel to each other and how not to keep friends. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, so what I'm currently reading is, I started this last night because I read those other two last night. Um, I'm currently reading Thread and Buried, book three in the Thread of Mysteries, and it's by Jenna Bullen. And this is... Um, A man did a heist 30 years ago and has all this treasure and he went missing. And she's got a cottage behind her house that she's trying to renovate, so they had to move it. And they unburied a treasure. And it happens to be the, the heist treasure. And a body had been found a week previous or a couple of days previous. And it happens to be the guy that did the heist. So that's as far as I've gotten. And then me and my book two bestie, Alana, are buddy reading The Goldfinch by Donna Tart. I only did like a page so far today. Um, but we're going to be taking about two weeks to read this. So I'm not too sure what it's really about. Um, just as a 13-year-old New Yorker miraculously survives an accident that kills his mother, abandoned by his father, Theo is taken in by a family of a wealthy friend. And then I it goes on to him being an adult. So, yeah, we're going to be reading that for the next two weeks. And once I finish this one, um, I was going to go on to My Favorite Witch. But I found out that is book two in a series. And book one and three, I can only get on overdrive. So I have to get that one. So I might pick up The Kitchen Wife, which is book one. Um, and I'm also going to be picking up Night of the Living Thread, book four of the Threadville Mysteries. And Threadly Sins... And they're both by Janet Bolin, and it's book five of the Threadville Mystery Series. So, that is my week so far. The, uh, tomorrow is back to school for the kids, so I can finally get things going <laughs> for what I've been trying to do around. So, I hope everybody has an awesome week. I will try and check in the next couple of days. And let me know what you guys are reading, or have read, if you've read any of these, if you like them. You know the drill. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.